people. Um, Meg, what about the, the squad? Can you tell us about the changes? Uh, yeah, obviously uh, Lauren Cheadle comes in uh, with Jess Jonathan from the, the last squad. So, uh, yeah, look, Lauren Cheadle has performed really well over the last few weeks in WNCL. Um, she's always been a bowler we, we've liked. Um, she, you know, she swings the ball, which I think is really important. So it's great to see her back after a couple of years of, of injury. Um, and Jess Jonathan obviously has done a, a great job coming back from injury um, during that World Cup. And she's performed well throughout the summer. So we feel like we've got a really good squad together, a good mix of... Um, a variety, I guess, and uh, we're looking forward to taking on the Kiwis. And Valani, what does she sort of have to do to improve her fitness? Uh, good question. I'm not really up to speed with what she's got to do. I'm assuming she's got to get through some higher speed running, um, which will happen over the next few weeks. But she's been working really hard in, in rehab, making sure that she's ready to go. And from all reports, she's been flying along. So um, we expect her to be fully fit for the, the first game coming up. With no Bolton, who do you see stepping up to open? Yeah, look, we've got a few options. Um, Obviously, Beth Mooney's done it before and, and Rachel Haynes has done it before as well. So they're probably the, the two we'd look at. Um, it's going to be a difficult decision to decide who we go with. They both um, are very capable of doing a great job uh, partnering Healy up the top, who has had a, a great season so far. So, uh, yeah, we'll look at that over the next week or so and decide who matches up the best. And Nicole, how is she and, and what sort of things are in place to make sure she's tracking them? Yeah, look, she's, she's going well, which is, is good to hear. Um, she's got a lot of support around her, both in cricket and, and outside as well. So, um, yeah, look, it was a very brave decision, I guess, to, to take a step away. And, um, yeah, we've been supporting her all the way through. And um, from all reports, she's going really, really well, which is great to hear. Meg, is it, is it ideal preparation coming off only sort of two WNCL games and then straight into the one-day series? Do the, do the girls want to play more WNCL 50 over cricket? Yeah, we'd love to play more WNCL. Um, I guess it's been an ongoing discussion over the last few years and I guess it will continue to be, but the, the players are really um, really strong on trying to play as, as much WNCL as we can. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, down the track, um, that, that does happen. Uh, so look, we, you know, we've played a couple of WNCL games. We, we feel like we, we've played enough cricket throughout the summer to, to be in good enough form and, and sort of have our games worked out. So uh, yeah, look, we feel like we're prepared as well as we can be and, and we're looking forward to taking on the Kiwis. How are you going? Personal, physical, it's been a huge workload. Uh, yeah, look, I feel in you know, really good condition at the moment. Um, after WBBL, I had a few weeks, um, a few weeks break um, before WNCL. So I feel like throughout the season, I've had to have little, little breaks along the way, and, and I've been able to do that. So um, yeah, I feel uh, really good heading into the series. Um, always looking forward to, to playing games New Zealand. They're a really good challenge for us, and uh, yeah, I feel like I'm really good to go and got good energy levels. Disappointing that Taylor Lemmick can't get a continued run at things? Yeah, it is. Um, she's obviously very, very talented and um, got a big future. Um, unfortunately, she um, is injured at the moment, but uh, look, I guess we've got to look a little bit more long term with her and, and we feel like she's got a long career ahead of her. So um, I guess at this stage, taking it a little bit slower uh, to make sure we get a really good base for her and um, allow her to sort of get the, the strength into her body, I guess, to be able to. Um, you know, get through the international series and, and domestic summer as well. So, um, look, there's plenty of time for, for Taylor. Disappointing at the moment, but um, yeah, we think she's got a really bright future. We saw the AC uh, the AC awards the other night, um, and you had obviously women's in T20 and ODI Player of the Year. But there's obviously no, no Test play because you didn't play any Tests. Is, is that something that you'd like to see more of? Test cricket? I mean, there's been so few in recent years. Yeah, look, it'd be great. Obviously, we only play against England in the, the test matches uh, and they're always great games and we always look forward to, to those and, and putting the baggy green on. So um, if there was an opportunity down the track to play more test matches, we'd love to do it. Uh, it's obviously difficult to fit into the schedule and, and at this stage, no other countries play test matches. So that sort of proves a little bit difficult. So uh, from a player's perspective, we love doing it. Um, we always enjoy it. So if there was an opportunity to do it uh, more, we'd definitely jump at it. What, what countries like be with the emerging countries? Who could you see? being another opponent? Uh, look, I think India are rising um, in the women's game. Um, they've they've played well at the last few World Cups and um, a very strong unit. So I think they could they could play Test match cricket. You got New Zealand and South Africa as well, um, who are probably the the sort of stronger ones, I guess. Um, but yeah, look, uh, as I said, only England at the moment. But hopefully those other countries are keen to do it, and um, it's something that can happen down the track. Um, what can you see Lauren bringing to the the wacker if she gets picked for that game? Yeah, look, obviously I mentioned before that she swings the new ball, um, which is a very good asset to, to have. Um, she's able to hit that, that good length, I guess, and, and challenge the batters uh, very often. So uh, she's done that over the last few weeks and we've really uh, liked what we, we've seen from her throughout the summer as she's been able to get some 
continuous cricket together, which I suppose she struggled to do over the last few years. So, yeah, we feel like having that option, um, the left arm option within our squad is, is very handy and she'll definitely come into calculations for that first game. And how important are the women's championship points in this series? Yeah, massive. Um, uh, yeah, as I, I've said this before, but I think it's a, been a great um, introduction to the women's game to have each game for points. And um, the Rose Bowl as well, we're playing for against New Zealand, which we've held for a number of years now. So um, there's a lot on the line throughout this series. So, um, you know, we've been watching New Zealand play quite well against India in the last few weeks as well. So uh, a good challenge for our group and, and really important that we finish off the summer well. Yeah, were you impressed the way they turned it around after losing the ODI series to, to win those two? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, we know they've got a very strong team, um, you know, probably led by Satisfy, Bates and, and Devine. Uh, so we're not, not surprised that they've been playing well, especially against a strong T20 unit in India. So, um, you know, we expect them to come over here and play well and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge of that.